Hi guys, I hope you guys are well. So today we're having a different setup. We it's been a while since I've done um, the sit down video, but here we are today. I want to talk about like the five habits, you know, which I think are really helping me like conquer my days. That I think they're really helping me um, with my intentional living. I don't know if it's making sense, but these are the five things that I feel they have groomed me um, to be a better person. Yes, and like they've, you know, like in how I carry myself, you know, the confidence that I have. I think like these things that I do on a daily basis, they have um, a great impact on the on, on the results that you see today, right? So I don't think they are in any like. Okay, I don't know. But the first thing is, guys, like having a quiet time with God. Um, sometimes, okay. <laughs> like, not sometimes, ne? it happens that, you know, like I was like recently I was working. Ne? And with the work that I had, it required a lot of my time. You know, I get up in the morning, like already messages are popping. I have to reply, I have to do this and that. So I feel like it was like really taking like some of my personal time as well, like my, my job, that I had to like stop doing some of the things that, you know, I was doing before starting that new job. Um, because normally in the morning, I never leave my house without praying right um even if maybe i didn't have that intimate time with jesus but uh, before i leave the house i pray and i ask god to 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 be with me during the day i ask god to cover me and protect me you know in the roads that i'll be on right in the in the roads that i'll be walking on i just ask uh, the lord to to cover me and protect me but i find that sometimes i would be doing that ne, as i walk out the door you know, I make my short prayer. Like I didn't have that intimate time with my creator. Um, now I don't have a job. I don't work. I do have time. I do have time in my hands. So I'm like very intentional with this. Probably, you know, like in the evening, like even when I was still working, I could have done it in the evening. You know? But I feel like my spiritual life was... It was close to dying. <laughs> I feel it was close to dying. Um, um, I don't know, like, what the better way to put it. But I could have done it in the evening, right? But I didn't. I don't know why I didn't do it. I really don't know why I didn't do it. So now that I don't work, like, I make it a point that I create time. Because, yes, I don't work, but there are things that I'm busy with. Um, I create time, you know, and have my time with the Lord, have the time with my creator, you know. Um, and I've seen now how, like also it's feeding me spiritually. I've seen how it's helping me, man, in my spiritual life and in, in my um, daily, in my other daily things that I need to do right because i've i've paved the way i spoke i've spoken with the lord i've offloaded whatever i needed to you know to be offload uh, okay i'm not gonna drink number one is too much okay and then the other thing that i do is like do my workouts it's crazy it's like really crazy how even when i was working i made time for my workouts okay I made time for my workouts, but came a point where like things were really hectic at work that I couldn't even do my workout because one thing about me, I do my workouts in the morning. I think it came a time like the last few months before like I stopped working, like everything was just hectic to the point that like I couldn't like really do my workouts as well. Maybe I would just skip a rope or I would do like whatever small activity, you know, just to get me going. And then to get me active, like to hype my energy. But it was not as how I usually like could do it. So the other healthy habit is doing workouts, you know, like making, making sure that I create time to do my workouts because with doing my workouts, um, I love how I look, you know, like I love the results I get from the workouts. 
I love, you know, when I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's me, definitely, that's me. I love that feeling. But over and above that, you know, physical feeling, like the result that I get, you know, from the workout, which like makes me feel good. Other than that, like, while I'm doing my workout, guys, it clears my mind. It clears my mind. I find myself, you know, like having new ideas. I find myself like thinking clearly. I find myself like really happy. Like it, 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 it working out ignites something in me. I don't know what it is, but there's something about it that just um, elevates my energy. So for me, creating time for God, very important. Doing my workouts in the morning, very important. It's almost like I'm pacing, you know, my day. You know, this is, when, this is how I want my day to be. I don't know if you guys understand. I know other people like listening to music, you know, they like music, you know, it, it moves the energy. You like, you know, I don't know. But okay, that's that, workouts. And then the other one is um, taking care of myself. I don't know about you guys, but one thing about me, whenever I'm happy, like whenever I look good, I become happy. You know, sometimes I'm not even going anywhere, but I want to fix myself. I want to look cute. I'm not even going anywhere, but I want to, you know, uh, wear my nice dress. I'm not even going anywhere, but I want to do like my makeup. With even, even without the makeup, but seeing that my skin looks good, you know, taking care of my skin. Sometimes it doesn't even look good, but knowing that I take care of it, like it makes me really happy, you know. Invest in good skin products. Sometimes it's not even the... Um, the products that maybe your, your, your face needs, but I don't know, for me guys, I'm talking about someone who has like acne problem, you know, since I was a teenager, pimples have been, you know, just doing their own thing in my face, but knowing that I'm able to take care of my skin, I'm able to take care of myself guys, it brings me joy and it elevates my confidence. Like with all these things that I've mentioned, like there's a pattern here, guys. It elevates your, your, your confidence. You know, you pray, you, you talk to God, and then you, you just remember the promises. He reassures you that his word, that he's, that he's not a liar. You know, you do your workouts, you look at yourself in the mirror, you feel good, you look good. And tell me if that will not boost your confidence, right? Now, when you take care of yourself, you get your nails done, you know, those things, like it's the small things that matter. It's the small things that also, like they help man in, yeah. The fourth thing that I wrote here is avoiding um, negative talk, be it negative self-talk, because sometimes I think it, it, it happens that maybe you are not feeling good, you feel down, and then there are a lot of things maybe that are happening or that are not happening well in your life or as you anticipated. And then you find yourself, you know, speaking down on yourself, I'm a failure. You find yourself speaking down on yourself, you know, um, and nothing ever comes easy to me. When you speak such things, you are manifesting those things, right? Because there's a power with what you, you, you confess with your tongue. And there's power with what you declare. So regardless of how you feel, how you feel should not determine, um, it should not, okay. How you feel, man, should, you shouldn't speak negative things like based on how you feel because the feeling is temporary, you know. Today you feel this way, tomorrow you feel differently. But I think we just need to be conscious of the words that we utter with our mouths. And then the other thing with avoiding um, negativity or negative talks is um, when speaking with other people, maybe speaking with your friend, you find yourself maybe, you know, speaking bad about other people. You find yourself uh, in a position where like the only time you want to, like the only thing that comes out of your mouth when speaking about other people is like judgments. That's wrong. That's wrong. I think also that it, I think sometimes when we do it, we don't do it deliberately. But when, you, when you've trained your mind to see wrong in other people, you will, con, you will constantly do it and not see anything wrong with it. So 
maybe as I'm like I'm saying this thing, you feel you resonate with what I'm saying. You know, it's time to self-reflect and do the right thing. Sometimes, like he. Like people come to you, maybe your friend, and then they want to start talking about other people's names. I think what has helped me is just not engage in such things. You know, not uh, not engage like with such things where people talk about other people's names. Um, I think there's something I've learned. Um, like another YouTuber told me this. You know, when like one says something that you don't want to be part of, when they say something that like you are not in agreement with or that you don't believe in, you can make as if you're listening, but you're actually not. So because I think sometimes also we are like we don't want to seem rude when we like stop people from talking. Um, <laughs> Uh, stop, like we don't want to seem rude or whatever but I don't think it's being rude it's just being honest but okay I don't feel comfortable talking about this conversation but for me like what has personally helped me is make as if you know I'm listening that time in my mind I'm thinking other things you know I'm thinking other things I'm really really not listening to what the person has to say so I try to avoid even uh, um, bringing up other people's names right uh, because like if you are not here maybe like we are talking with my friend then you happen to talk about the other friend or other people that we both know like um, I try not to bring other people that are not present I don't like bringing their names if they're not present unless maybe we're talking of you know like we're celebrating them or we're complimenting like whatever that they've done right so that's the other thing Number five, I have not written it, and currently I can't think of anything, but these are the things that I thought of. Probably when I think of the last uh, point, I will um, come back here. Yeah, I just had time, so I thought I should film this video.